I grew up in a place called Manchester, uh, North England, Northwest England. I didn't have a farming background, but I had um, my, some of my relatives had farm. It just happens like it happens, I think, to a lot of people. I was taking a course on what's called geomorphology, um, formation of soils, and uh, the, the, the lecturer was just so uh, interesting and enthusiastic. We went on a field trip and it just turned me to that and uh, changed over to soil science. From there, I got this opportunity um, in New Zealand. You know, there was a lot of uh, other graduates there working as a team, just a great group. And I guess I learned uh, from them, you know, how to do, watching them, how to be thorough, diligent, you know, make sure the science is right, um, but also just a team. It was, it was like helping each other, doing a lot of field work and it was water quality, looking at dairy runoff, uh, tile drainage, grazing management, manure application. Um, and if that sounds familiar, you know, you just, uh, that was back in 73. I ended up originally in California doing a postdoc and then in a place called Durant, which is probably about, um, oh, a couple of hundred miles south here on the border, Oklahoma, Texas border. And then a position came open here at the University of Arkansas. And the rest, to say, is, is history, you know. Uh, when I moved here, there was a lot more freedom. And that was one of the things that um, I found um, rewarding and challenging at the time. So a couple of projects that, that blossomed from that, I did some work on watersheds up here and around Savoy and a few other places. But um, I got an invitation from Wisconsin from um, the Discovery Program up there, Fred Manis. Fred Madison at the time and and we came back and said this is something I think that we that could work here you know having a little bit more experience after being here I realized Arkansas was probably a lot further ahead than a lot of other states in the US and be more proactive in dealing with environmental issues you know, one of the things that helped me at the time was there was this transitioning and there was this Farm Bureau uh, were being very proactive in working with uh, farmers and farmers were, you know, talking to them and saying, we need to be on the train and not left standing at the station when the train's gone. And once we got the equipment, then we had the ability to peddle this infrastructure to start doing some sites. And we, the first one was at Jeff Marley uh, site, um, which again was, he was very active with Farm Bureau. And we also did one uh, down in with Terry Dabbs. Mike and I um, have a great, developed a great friendship and a great working relationship. He was extension, I was research. Uh, I was in, interested in being more applied. He was wanted to do extension based on science and, and, and research based extension. And so it was mutually beneficial and we ended up uh, with a, with this, uh, with a, with a program um, and four original farms, we would never. Mike and I would never go into a farm and say, "We think you need to do this. We need you need to put this conservation practice in because that's um, it's not our job to be farming." And it's, it was there. We wanted it to come from them. We wanted their investment in to do it. So what we've been able to do is is allow us to do that, get that information. Um, and, and develop the data and have it there available, publish it, um, report it to other groups, allow those farmers to, um, um, you know, get out there and use that data um, for themselves to show what they're doing. But it, it provided some sound science to, to, for, you know, to, to make things work. There was, you know, the CNH hog farm was permitted um, to operate. Um, and then there was um, a lot of angst after the permit process um, that was nothing to do with us, but um, that started, they wanted, somebody wanted to know, is it really or isn't it? The university, we're doing this type of work. I'd come here about four or five years ago, you know, I'd got this, Discovery program were doing the same type of thing, and so we were a logical um, um, fit to do that in an unbiased way, um, to do the scientific 
scientifically rigor to determine whether that farm was having an impact or not on, on, on Big Creek. And the defining moment in all of this um, was when um, Jason Henson got up and said, look, if I'm causing a problem, don't you want to know it? Don't we want to know if I'm part of a problem? And nobody could say anything. Everybody was, he was right. I mean, he'd hit the nail on the head. He'd been there several generations. Uh, he did not want to be part of the problem. He, you know, he had neighbors there. He, he'd lived there. He, he wanted to be um, open about this. And so from that point on, uh, there was some reluctance on the integrator's part, but having, having the farmer up there say that uh, really changed the, um, the scenery, so to speak. In the end, we all know the end of the, end of the story here. Um, obviously, there was a lot of pressure put on, on that farmer. Uh, at no time, he never once said, no, I don't want you doing this, or I don't want you doing this extra bit of work. We explain what we were doing, and he never said, no. Uh, and to me, that was just, um, you know, uh, you got to admire Jason and, and, and the whole family for, for doing that, um, that they really wanted to know what was going on. And, and I think they, you know, they were following all the rules and regulations, but still that wasn't good enough. But, you know, to give them a credit, they never tried to hide anything or never tried to stop us from finding more data to prove one way or the other. Um, I think that was a great learning experience for us was the um, power of the farmer to um, want to know the truth rather than saying no. I, and I think that's, I, from my experience, is somewhat unique to Arkansas where they have had, and maybe it's from Farm Bureau, that there, you know, there are these environmental um, programs and committees and, and work that's going on that they feel, uh, you know, that, okay, Farm Bureau are behind this. They, they, they want this information. They're not hiding their head in the sand. I think it, it, important things to me was the fact that it, it, you feel like you could have um, uh, help in change or you, you ha had some impact, you know, so I really, um, you know, content that I, I, I've been able to, you know, do what um, uh, I felt that was um, important. It was, there was integrity, there was scientific rigor and that I've helped move things things along. Um, obviously there's some recognition of that along the way, but that's not, you know, that's that's kind of gravy, but the, you know, the main, the more meaningful thing is the friendships, partnerships, the teams, again, that make, uh, that make us better. I think the hallmark of, of what I would say is that team works not for everybody, but um, it damn well sure worked for me. And I, um, really um, appreciate that time and opportunity.